Hey, miss, I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice, then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. We don't have much time. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. The past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Yeah!
something! They're heading for the cliff! No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. Long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. 
Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the East and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your weapon. Sir. Marston, you watch after her. Do that, sir. Come on, boy. Yeah. Really? What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Stay with me! Please stay close. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderful romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Come on. know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. 
Hey, hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I can, Marlin. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. ¿Qué tal?
What have we got here? Let's go! Hand, friend, I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way.
Which is ours. You made a big so bad. Oh. Please! Please help me! Hacks up! Oh, no. I guess that's that then. Thank God you're safe. Let's get you back home. Just a little something for my troubles.
Sheldon Grubb's getting to be real smug these days. Welcome to the Armadillo Saloon. You want to spend some time? Establishment in the West. Shot of rum, please. Thank you. You hear about that shootout at your pleasant town? Well, my so friend, damn near, the cleaner. I did hear about that. don't put his name to a gun he don't believe in, browse away. Howdy. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? A fine transaction. Well, I'm always after items of quality. That's a fine deal. Thinking that were mutually beneficial. Nice doing business. There you go. The marshal may as well hand armadillo over to them thugs for all he does to stop them. I don't know how you get away with these prices, mister.
Cody! It's over! No good piece of dirt. Thank you. Let's go.
prison out, huh? Howdy! Say, he is my strength! His blood for me! No, thank you, my dear. Unless you want to start working on the pepper guns. Thank you for from the governor's mansion.